everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the best of 2015 beauty favorites. Um, I'm just going to tell you all of my 2015 beauty obsessions starting with makeup. If you're interested in this video right here, then let's get started. Let's get right into it. Before I put on my um, face primers and all that, this is what I use. This is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. I love this one because of the smell to it. It really smells really pleasant. Cucumber and green mango. And it really makes your, your skin feel refreshed and woken up. I really like this. This is what wakes me up in the morning, I swear. It really has like a cooling kind of feeling to the face. It has like a gel kind of consistency. And it's just fantastic. I love this. This is what I use before I put any of my makeup. I put this on. The first things I want to talk about are my face products. I'm going to start with the way I put on my makeup every day. So I've been using this recently. Um, they had came out with this Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm. This is amazing. Makes your foundation stay on flawlessly all day long. I'm telling you. I just, I love this stuff. This stuff was very inexpensive. I believe it was like five or six dollars and I found it at um, Walgreens. This is amazing. I love it. I think I'm about right here on it right now. It's amazing product. I love it. I know it's for men. It has that men's smell, but you can't even notice it. As soon as you put it on your face, it just fades away. I mean, it's just amazing. It has kind of a tacky kind of feeling, but I'm telling you, your foundation stays on and everything looks good for the whole entire day. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I have a few primers that I've been loving this year. One by NYX. This one is the NYX Angel Veil. It's a very beautiful primer. I really like it. really makes your foundation look very flawless. It's oil free. makes your skin look really nice and hydrated. And I really liked it. Another one was the Too Faced Hangover RX. I loved this. It smells like coconut. It has probiotics in it, silicone free. It just, I just, I love the way um, it made my foundation look. So I really, really liked it. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. I really like it. It has a nice little pump on it. And it was just fantastic. I loved it. Another face primer is by Smashbox. I've got a little trial size. I like to use this in my pore area. It blurs out the pores really well, oil free, um, and I really liked it. So when I finish this up, I'm probably going to get a full size. It was just amazing. I really loved it. I have three foundations that I was just obsessed over over the year. This one is by MAC. He, they came out with the Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. This stuff is so nice. Um, I really loved it during the summer. And it was just amazing. They had my shade. It was NC42. I, like, I tried it on and put full face. And I got in the shower. And it just kind of beat it up a little bit. Not really messed up at all. It was just fantastic foundation. I really loved it. I just wish it was in a bigger bottle. It was just great. It does what it says and it lasted all day. In the rain, I wore it in the rain also and it was just great. I loved it. And these two foundations I love together. They're like a match made in heaven, I'm telling you. The one is the Matte and Poreless by the Fit Me, by Maybelline Fit Me. Shade Natural Buff. This is just an amazing, amazing foundation. Um, it makes you really matte and the pores really minimize. And I just love it. I, I really love this. It's combination to oily skin. So I really stay matte with this, which I love. Because my face really gets oily sometimes or combination sometimes. So I mean, this just really worked for me. I love it. I will continue to buy that. And this one right here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This foundation is amazing. I love it. It's so, so nice. It is a demi matte finish and it really makes you look, makes your skin look healthy and flawless. I just loved it. It was just, this is just by far the best foundation I've ever, ever tried out of all the foundations. I mean, this was just my favorite. It really did a great job. And I like the whole infallible line. I mean, 
they really did an amazing job with this line i really liked it everything that they came out with so far and this is a 24-hour foundation i haven't tried it on that long but um it's fantastic i mean i don't have to touch it up or anything it's just great loved it powders i'm just gonna go ahead and go into the powders the two that i love is the fit me um powder sometimes you know i gravitate between these two i mean just whatever i feel like gravitating to this one is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless in natural buff just to match the foundation i use that one sometimes or the infallible pro matte in sun beige i like the foundation i mainly use this one a lot more just a really nice powder it's just really nice i really like it it stays matte and it keeps my face matte and looking good sealers um i only have two concealers that i love one is by nyx this is the hd concealer in the shade yellow this is amazing amazing concealer i love it it's just it really makes my under eyes brighten up it doesn't crease it's just amazing and just i love i love this stuff i mean i did, i read a lot of reviews before buying it i wasn't sure about it and this is amazing i love it it's my holy grail now this one is what i've been using before that this is the elf hd lifting concealer in the shade brightening i really like this concealer also they're both the same doe foot kind of um, applicator but they just really brighten my under eye i like to use them together sometimes i mean it's just amazing amazing concealers if you haven't tried them very inexpensive i believe this one was like three dollars or something at um elf website and this one is by um I bought it at Ulta and it's very inexpensive. I believe it was like maybe $8 or so, something like that. It wasn't that bad. Just amazing, amazing concealers. Love them. Setting powders. I have three that are my favorites. The Mercier one, I really like this to just set my whole face sometimes. Um, I really, I used it for baking, but I mean, it's okay, but I, I I just mainly like it to just set the face. To bake, though, I like the NYC Smooth Skin Powder. This just makes my under eyes look really flawless. I used it today, and I really like the way um, it really smooths out everything, and it doesn't look cakey. It's just really healthy glow kind of like. I really like this. Another one that I like is by e.l.f. This is their HD under eye setting powder. I really enjoy this. At first I was a little skeptical because it had like glitters in it, but they're very, very subtle. You do not see it underneath your eyes, I'm telling you. It's just very finely milled powder and it, it just makes your under eyes look really, really healthy and nice. I really like it. It's in the shade Sheer. Love it. Oh, and the NYC one is in the shade Translucent. I have a couple brow products. Well, two actually. One is, of course, the Anastasia Brow Wiz is amazing. I love it. It has the spoolie on one side and the crayon tip on the other one. This is just amazing. I love this um, Brow Wiz. It's very kind of pricey though, so I only use it for like special occasions or whatnot. This is in the color dark brown. This is just amazing. I love it. But for every day, I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This came out um, this year, and it's just amazing. The same kind of concept. They even look alike. I mean, they're just basically the same thing. The only thing that I think the NYX one is kind of has like more of a waxy feel to it. So it kind of doesn't really feel the same, but I like them both. And this one is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. Um, I use it in conjunction with the, the Brow Wiz. What I usually do is just, you know, draw out the brows. And then I fill them in with powder or um, a pomade. Or sometimes all three of them all together. So I have the light shade right here that I use in the inner corners of the eyebrow. And the darker shade just to fill it in so it's just amazing i like the cute little mirror it's really convenient and i really like these colors this is in the shade chocolate 
And this one, um, this one recently came out. This is by e.l.f. This is the Lock On Liner Brow Cream. And it is amazing. I really like it. Um, I had to like moisturize it one time since I've had it. But other than that, it's really great. It, it stays on my brows all day and it's just an amazing product. I really like it. You can also use it as an eyeliner. I'm in a shade medium brown. I've been obsessed over this thing. Love it. Eyeliners. I have two liquid eyeliners that I was obsessed with. I like the NYX one, but I ran out of it. It was the matte matte one that just that came out um this year but it's fantastic but i love the nyc ones very inexpensive you can find it at walmart i believe it's like two or three dollars something like that and really inexpensive this is amazing um i like the wand it's really long and it's just really easy to maneuver i really like this and the one that i bought recently was the wet n wild mega liner um, I like this too. It really stays on the um, my eye really long time. I used it today. It's just really great. I mean, it really dries to a like matte finish, and I think it's amazing. I really like it. Slot 77. Um, I bought this not too long ago. It's amazing. Amazing. It's like a jet jet matte black eyeliner. This is amazing. I really love it. I really think this is the best black eyeliner that stays in my waterline the longest. This is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes um, Waterproof Pencil because I've tried tons and this one just seems to work for me. Stick Remover Wipes. These are my favorites by e.l.f. Um, just amazing. They're $3 a piece. You can find them at Target, um, the e.l.f.'s website, and places like that. Then I come 20 in a pack. They're just very moisturizing and they take everything off and I just love them. I really love them. I really, really love them. They don't have a nice, um, they don't have a strong smell to them or anything like that. It's very comfortable. I have three of my favorites. One of course is the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing them today. They're like a bam in your face kind of lash, but they are just beautiful. I love them. They kind of flare out like this. It's longer on one end and shorter at the, the inner corner. Amazing, amazing. I love this lash. This is one of my favorites. I have quite a bit of these. The next ones are just the Demi Wispies. I like these too. Um, they're just for everyday wear. I mean, I like that they're longer on one side and shorter on the inside. I love them. So I buy them all the time. And these are by Kara. Kara. Very inexpensive. I buy them for like a dollar a piece on um, shopmissay.com where everything's a dollar. Um, I just really like these. They're really long and very pretty. I really like them. These are the number 48s if you're wondering. So, yeah. Came up with the Infallible Pro Spray and Set setting spray I really like this I only have have a little bit left I have like a little bit left and I really really love it it really makes my um, foundation and everything last a long time and it really is great I really like it 